While there has been a lot of releases for the 40k universe, there are still some armies which haven't received much of an update in recent years. The Tyranids haven't had a model refresh since the early 2000s, the Elder have only just had theirs, and with the looming World Eaters on the horizon, there are still plenty of Chaos factions which have hardly received much love. There are many fantastic models made by Games Workshop which are ripe for the picking in this series. I will be taking on the much needed factions of Chaos and bringing them more in line with the rest of the 40k universe. The idea of the Primaris line felt like a natural progression for the Space Marines, considering the increased threat in the lore, and I wanted to explore this type of progression for Chaos, just with a bit more warp magic. With the quick introduction into this project done, I present to you the Primarising of Chaos series. The first Legion we are going to update is the Alpha Legion. With the Alpha Legion being the Masters of Disguise and Subterfuge, I also wanted this to reflect with the powers of Chaos. In my mind, spending 10,000 years disguised with a deep desire for those you are impersonating is a breeding ground for Chaos to spread and manifest, even if you aren't aligned to any of the Chaos Gods. To start, I needed to plan how I was going to bring the Alpha Legion into a Primaris scale. The easiest way was to have the Marine transition out from one of the new Primaris Marines. Instead of this being just a standard Marine, we will use an Eradicator. Unless we use a Chaos Terminator set, there isn't much that would fit the scale of the Gravis armor. So, to mix the ideas of Chaos Infused Alpha Legion, we're going to use the Greater Possessed. These are slightly larger than the standard Chaos Space Marines and should fit nicely and scale well with the Gravis armor. First things first, let's take apart the Eradicator. Using a sharp knife, I'm cutting the joints apart and taking the model back down to its original pieces. This Eradicator originally came from the Indomitus box set. Once we have managed to get the torso of the Eradicator, it's time to cut the piece into shape. As the Marine is phasing from its Primaris cloak into its original form, I wanted to get the angle cut through the torso. This will also allow to show more of the Chaos Twisted torso side. Now that we have cut the Primaris torso, we need to make sure that the cut lines up with the alternative cut that we will end up doing on the possessed chest. Because of the angle, it is difficult to get a clean removal. So using a rotary tool, I'll slowly cut into the model, removing the majority that we don't want on this model. Once the side of the torso is removed, cut the leg off with the clippers and we should be left with a very close fit with the torso.
One side is the Gravis armor, the other is the possessed torso. Very chaosy. Now it's time to make these pieces fit perfectly, using a knife to clear the cut lines and a rotary tool for the cleaner removals. Once we are happy, I'll use Tamiya Extra Thin Glue to glue the pieces together. Next up is dealing with the legs. The legs will be the same situation as the torso, half Primaris, half the Possessed. Using the left leg of the Gravis armor, it should fit cleanly onto the Gravis torso part that we have just put together. So using the Tamiya glue again, clear down any of the shavings with the glue and then stick the leg back on. For the other leg, the Possessed size, it would be a bit more of a challenge. More needed to be removed so the leg joint would match with the Gravis's crutch and belts. Knowing that more needs to be removed, I started to reattach the backing to the torso and closing the torso and hips. With that now closed, it's clearer how much needs to be removed from the leg, so it's back to using the knife and clippers. With the leg now cut into shape, there are still some large areas which will need filling the areas around the rear gun holster, the underside of the crutch and the hip joint. So, mixing up some green stuff, this will be fed into the middle of the torso for some extra grip and a bunch left into the hip area for the possessed leg to grip onto as well. With the green stuff in place, the possessed leg is then pushed into place. Any remaining or bulging green stuff is removed or sculpted back into the model. Some of the spaces are very tight, so using a cocktail stick will work perfectly for getting into those hard to reach areas. Another piece of green stuff is also used to fill the void on the right hand side to close up the torso. Once the green stuff has been sculpted, it's time to let it cure. I had waited two hours before continuing from this point. Now that the green stuff is firm, there are still some areas that need attention. The hip still needs some work, the gap between the gun and holster on the rear, and the backpack and then the arms. For the backpack, utilizing the original Eradicator's pack will do for now. For the arms, I originally wanted the Marine to be carrying a rifle. This would be on the Primaris's side. However, this did change multiple times as the build came more together. For the possessed side, I didn't want any of the fleshy, warp-driven tentacles. Instead, I chose to use one of the arms from the Chaos Raptor set, which has the claws coming out of the wrists. For the remaining gaps, more green stuff was used to fill the gaps and brought smoother using a sculpting tool. The final piece of sculpting is using Milliput onto the arms to make a cleaner, smoother connection for the arm to be glued onto. Lastly, a piece of the aggressors was attached to the front of the hip and an original Chaos Terminator Lord chain was used to fill the gap on the back. At this point, the parts we are going to be fixing will need to be used with superglue. I use a construction grade glue called CT1. From research, it has the highest concentration of cyanoacrylate. If it's strong enough to be used in holding your house together, then it's certainly strong enough for these models. As mentioned before, I had changed my mind on the Primaris's arm. The arm for the gun just seemed a little bit too small, so I had opted to go for a more bulky power fist which fits nicely with the bulky look of the armour. There were a few things I wanted to add so it registered as an Alpha Legion. Firstly was the shoulder pad. 
Having a scaled pad would help greatly in showing that it is in fact an Alpha Legion Marine. Secondly, I wanted some sign or symbol of the Hydra. This was used to replace one of the vents on the backpack. Cutting off the side that is on the possessed and scraping down to make a smooth connection and then replacing it with a head of a Hydra. The only thing left to do is clean up the backpack again, close the gaps and glue the piece with Tamiya glue. With the last piece glued, we are left with our first built Primaris scale Alpha Marine. All that's left to do is prime the model and we are left with this. With only the painting left, I'll leave you with a tease of what to expect from part two.